A Beaver Dam man accused of raping and sexually assaulting a mentally handicapped teenager could be spending up to five years in jail. David Carmen pled guilty to a lesser charge this morning, but at the same time was automatically listed as a sexually violent predator. Maria Miller was in the courtroom and has those details tonight. Maria? Marty Jen, most of Carmen's charges were dropped as he pleaded guilty to aggravated indecent assault. It's still a felony and will still require him to register as a Megan's Law offender for the rest of his life. Now, as for the plea itself, it didn't come as that much of a shock because back when he was arrested, police told us that Carmen had already confessed. Now, this all happened in January when a mentally handicapped teen went missing from her home for a few hours. Police say they were able to track that girl down to David Carmen's Beaverdale home, where she told them they were having sexual relations. It's something police told us they quickly learned had been going on for several months after retrieving Facebook and textbook, uh, text messages between the two that were sexual in nature and what happened before each assault took place. Police say when they arrested Carmen, he didn't deny what happened, but rather confessed, saying he knew it was wrong. The victim and her family were in court this morning as Carmen pleaded guilty and immediately became a sexually violent predator. The plea was discussed with the victim and the family at the preliminary hearing, so prior to the case even coming to us here at the courthouse. And the family was satisfied with the plea because there is a lifetime Megan's Law requirement. And this now prevents the victim from having to testify and potentially being re-victimized by having to go through that experience. Now, authorities tell us that the girl is still having some nightmares, but overall is doing relatively okay. Carmen is facing three to four and a half years in jail and is scheduled to be sentenced in June. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.